Hey everyone, my name is Matt. Welcome to my shop. Today is October 18th and it's my weekly shop update. And this is the first for the shop update. I've been doing a shop update for like two and a half years already. And I've never had a guest. I am honored. You are the, I am honored. The April Wilkerson's here Hello. all the way from Texas. <laughs> she is the first guest on the shop update. Hello everyone. Thank you, Matt. Thanks for coming. That was very nice intro. I practiced it. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> Yep, so hanging out in Matt's shop, first time to uh, Minnesota, first time to Matt's shop, of course. It's, uh, it's nice. So you're here for? Here for, hang out for a few days, yeah. do a few filming odds and ends yeah. with uh, uh, Triton. Yeah. Triton's here for a few days, and they're doing some videos with me, and they figured, well, since April, I guess, lives in the same country, <laughs> we, might, we might as well you know, have her come a thousand miles to do some videos together. So we're doing, we did a video today on um, like looking at trees and, yeah. and stuff outside and lumber making. We're gonna do some more of that tomorrow. Um, we did some pictures. Mm -hmm. What else are we doing? I learned about burls. You learned about burls and a lot of other things. Mm -hmm. We'll see how much stuck. Drying wood. Test tomorrow. Oh no, I will fail. <laughs> <laughs> I fail. I can recognize a birch. <laughs> You didn't recognize the birch, that's true. That's the only one I came up here knowing how to recognize, though, so I'm, I'm <laughs> cheating. So this week, I spent pretty much the entire time trying to get the paint on that mill. Um, I barely, I pretty much was able to get like one coat or one step done per day. So it was like, one day I did like all the surface prep with the grinder. I did all the wire wheel, and then I did like the washing the next day, and then like a coat a day for three days, and then it was the weekend. And then that was it. Do you use a special sort of paint? I used uh, POR15, which is like a rust paint, rust proofing paint yeah. thing. Super expensive, but it's supposed to be really good. Mm -hmm. So in theory, the mill should never rust. Yeah. So we'll see how that holds up. Very cool. We'll see. What is it a spray on? I painted it on, but you could spray it. Oh, okay. Um, Much quicker though, I imagine, painting yeah, it, it on. It took me about an hour to apply each coat mm -hmm. with the roller and the brush. Uh, spraying That's honestly it not bad for considering how big it is. It got pretty boring, but yeah, it wasn't that bad. Um, I was thinking about maybe spraying it, but I don't have like a, a good sprayer for spraying paints. I could spray finishes, but not something that thick. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing is that since I wasn't able to get the bed of the mill off the ground, I figured I'd have a pretty hard time spraying up underneath to get that bottom edge because it's like only maybe five or six inches off the ground. So it'd be pretty hard to get under there, but. High low. Oh, yeah. Fine. <laughs> Pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> Take the hard route, Matt. Yeah. <laughs> so what have you been working on this week? Anything interesting? Yeah, I actually jumped around quite a bit this week, which if you've been following me on Instagram, my story has just been jumping. I started off really motivated. Actually, I started off with the intentions of building a crosscut sled. It's actually been my intention for the last three weeks, but I don't know, just keep getting sidetracked, I suppose. Uh, but then I got really motivated uh, because I cut in the, the slots where the miter gauge is mm -hmm, yeah. on the outfeed table. And then I started thinking about filling them in with inserts so that I could use it as a work surface. And that got me thinking on how to better utilize them and then storing them and then adding in a roll of paper and just other accessories. Yeah, it got. I was watching that. I'm like, this has evolved quite a bit. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like, it just started as a little like full up table. All of a sudden it's like, let's accessorize this thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Honestly, I couldn't, it was, I cut in those slots and my brain just started turning and I was like, I'm going to go with it. It's one of those things where I was really motivated and I didn't have any reason why I had to stick with doing the crossbow mm -hmm. sled. So I jumped, I jumped ship and started with the outfit table, <laughs> but then I jumped ship once again in the middle of the week because, um, I got that plasma cutter in yeah. and I wanted to get that project done before actually coming up here. And so I only had Wednesday through uh, Sunday, I suppose it is. Um, but yeah, so I jumped ship and did a fire pit. I don't even know what to call it. It's like a it's like a burn pit for for scrap wood. This way, whenever I have longer scraps, I don't have to take the time to cut them down to throw them into the <laughs> smaller circular pit. The one thing I've learned about putting stuff online, is people don't like it when I burn like anything. Anything, <laughs> anything. So you're saying like I could put a whole like big pieces in there. Good luck with I'm that. I'm gonna get eaten. Good up. luck with that. I am. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna ignore him. <laughs> no, people are gonna complain because I'm burning plywood and oh, whatever else. You I'll know? send you some of my walnut scraps to burn. <laughs> well, and then they're gonna complain about burning good wood. Yeah, hell yeah. You can't win, Matt. You can't. <laughs> Don't try, because you will fail. I'm never gonna try. <laughs> <laughs> but no, the barrel turned out really good. I get to use a plasma cutter for the first time. Do a little bit more welding. 
Um, yeah, and then I painted it black. And really, it's for it's going to be outside of my shop. I'm not using it to like heat my shop, so mm-hmm. I really honestly shouldn't be breathing in the fumes. And it's not for standing around either because it's hideous. <laughs> it's, <laughs> I, not, it's I think hideous. it's pretty sweet. Oh, it's okay. It just it, it looked a lot cooler in my head, but um, <laughs> so but it's not for standing around. So it's it's literally going to be whenever I'm in my shop and I'm wanting to clean it out. I'm going to start a fire, burn the scraps, and then just continuously throw them in as I'm cleaning them out. Because my problem is, is especially now that I'm just getting more and more wood, um, I have to throw out. I I can't keep everything. So I have to, like, go through purges, you know? Uh, Yeah, I have the same problem. Yeah. Do you you throw anything out? (laughs) I do. I threw a lot of stuff out last, um, in August. Do you? I had a big purge, yeah. Mm. I um, I posted on Instagram that I had a bunch of stuff to go away for free. And uh, it went. I imagine. But I had a lot more in here than I thought I did. Mm-hmm. So if you want to see more throughout the week, make sure you're following April, myself, and Triton on Instagram and Facebook. Yeah. They're going to be doing some live streaming on Facebook as well. So check that out. So let's take a look at some viewer projects. First this week is a cedar table by Matthew. He built this table to house one of those fancy green egg barbecue things. He got the slab from a local sawmill and he dimensioned all the lumber himself from the roughs on stock. He laminated boards together to make up the leg blanks and he cut the slab in half to add some width to it. The frame is drawn with Morrison tannin and the finish is General Finishes Outdoor Oil. Okay, the next one we have is a bed with blossom inlay by Sean. Uh, the footboard and headboard have a cherry blossom inlay consisting of ebony, wingay, walnut, pink ivory, red heart, and tinted epoxy. Each piece of the inlay was cut out by hand and set using a router and a 16th inch straight bit. It took 90 hours to create the inlay in both the foot and headboard. Oh, this is Sean Rubino. Yeah. Way to go, Sean. <laughs> Sean definitely has a build video on this, so be sure to check it out. Next up is a pallet wood bowl by Scott. Scott got a lathe four months ago, and he's been having an absolute blast using it. He made this bowl as part of Sterling Davis's pallet challenge this year. Previously, he had not seen any pallet challenge videos featuring a term project, so he came up with this idea. Next is a four drawer silver chest by Mark. Mark started off with rough lumber and it took him a year to build because he had to learn on the fly how to build a chest case with drawer supports that allow for seasonal expansion as well as how to make hand cut dovetails. Last of this week is a walnut slab table by Philip. The whole table is made from firewood that he rescued. The walnut slab on top was too gorgeous to cut up into small projects. The defects highlighted the overall reclaimed idea while still playing into the modern look too. And I think it turned out really nicely. I like the like the look of the white base against the walnut top. So lastly this week I have two things to let you know about. Uh, over on the Highland Woodworking YouTube channel there's a video they posted a couple days ago. I did a product tour of the Benchcraft Advice hardware. So if you're ever interested in that hardware kit, definitely check out that video. It walks you through all the purchasing options you can do on those hardware kits. And also, I got new t-shirts in. So I got uh, the Macromano logo on this dark heather gray. Very nice. I very much enjoy this, this design. So those are over on my website. You can buy yourself a sweet t-shirt and look cool. And support Matt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so anything else you want to mention? You're good. No, I'm good. I'm looking forward to the week, learning a whole bunch of stuff. And uh, that's it. It'll be fun. Well, thank you as always for watching. I greatly appreciate it. If you have any questions or comments about anything I talked about today or anything that's going on in April shop or my shop or whatever, Please feel free to leave us a comment. Uh-oh. We'd be happy to answer any <laughs> questions you might have. And until next time. Bye. Happy woodworking. And bye. Happy woodworking. And bye. And bye. <laughs> I didn't want to steal your line. Yeah, I threw it to you. I know.